Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the book No More Mr. Nice Guy by Robert A. Glover. For regular updates I request you to subscribe our channel, also you can join our community by becoming a member of our channel, you get access to a whole range of exclusive perks that will take your experience to the next level, so, what are you waiting for, joining our channel membership is easy, just click the join button below to unlock all these amazing perks and support our channel directly. Your membership helps us create more content and improve our videos for everyone. The characters in the novel are. The themes of the novel are No More Mr. Nice Guy by Robert A. Glover is a book that explores the idea of being a nice guy and how it can lead to problems in relationships and personal fulfillment. Glover argues that many men try to please others at the expense of their own needs and desires, which can result in feelings of resentment, frustration, and low self-esteem. The book looks into common traits of nice guys, such as seeking approval, avoiding conflict, and suppressing emotions. Glover suggests that these behaviors stem from childhood experiences and societal expectations, and he provides exercises and strategies to help men break free from these patterns. Through personal anecdotes and case studies, Glover illustrates how embracing authenticity, setting boundaries, and prioritizing self-care can lead to healthier relationships and greater happiness. The book introduces us to the concept of the nice guy. Nice guys are men who believe that if they are good, giving, and caring, they will be loved, get their needs met, and have a smooth life. However, they often find themselves frustrated, resentful, and unfulfilled. The nice guy syndrome stems from childhood experiences where they learn to hide their true selves to gain approval and love. They adopt behaviors like people-pleasing, seeking validation, and avoiding conflict to maintain this facade. Glover delves into the origins of the nice guy syndrome, tracing it back to childhood experiences and the influence of family dynamics. Many nice guys grew up in households where they received conditional love, meaning they were only accepted when they behaved in certain ways or met others' expectations. Consequently, they learned to suppress their true feelings and desires, believing that being themselves would lead to rejection or abandonment. This pattern continues into adulthood, where nice guys seek external validation and avoid confrontation to avoid conflict and maintain a sense of safety. The author outlines the common characteristics of nice guys, which include seeking approval and validation from others, avoiding conflict at all costs, and putting others' needs before their own. Nice guys often struggle with setting boundaries, saying no, and expressing their true feelings and desires. They fear rejection and abandonment, so they suppress their needs and emotions to maintain relationships. This behavior leads to frustration, resentment, and a lack of fulfillment in both personal and professional aspects of their lives. Glover explores how the nice guy's behavior affects his relationships, both romantic and platonic. Nice guys often attract partners who are emotionally unavailable or take advantage of their kindness. They may become resentful when their efforts to please others go unnoticed or unappreciated. In friendships, nice guys may struggle to assert themselves and may feel taken advantage of by more assertive individuals. Overall, the inability to express their needs and desires authentically leads to dissatisfaction and dysfunction in relationships. The book offers strategies for nice guys to break free from the patterns that keep them stuck in the nice guy syndrome. This involves embracing their authentic selves, setting boundaries, and learning to express their needs and desires openly and assertively. Nice guys are encouraged to practice self-compassion and self-care, recognizing that their needs are just as important as anyone else's. By challenging their beliefs about love, approval, and worthiness, nice guys can cultivate healthier relationships and live more fulfilling lives. Glover emphasizes the importance of embracing authenticity as the key to overcoming the nice guy syndrome. This involves reconnecting with one's true self, accepting all aspects of oneself, including the parts that may feel vulnerable or imperfect. By letting go of the need for external validation and approval, nice guys can cultivate a sense of self-worth that is independent of others' opinions. This journey towards authenticity requires courage and vulnerability but ultimately leads to greater self-acceptance and fulfillment. The book provides guidance on building healthy relationships based on honesty, mutual respect, and open communication. Nice guys are encouraged to assert their needs and boundaries clearly and to choose partners who are capable of reciprocating love and support. 
By cultivating friendships with individuals who respect and value them for who they are, nice guys can experience deeper connections and a greater sense of belonging. Building healthy relationships requires vulnerability and a willingness to let go of old patterns that no longer serve them. In the conclusion, Glover emphasizes that breaking free from the nice guy syndrome is a journey of self-discovery and personal growth. It requires courage, honesty, and a willingness to challenge deeply ingrained beliefs and behaviors. However, the rewards of embracing authenticity and building healthy relationships are well worth the effort. By letting go of the need to please others and learning to love and accept themselves unconditionally, nice guys can finally experience the freedom and fulfillment they've been longing for. The journey towards becoming a truly authentic and empowered individual begins with saying goodbye to the nice guy and embracing all that they are meant to be. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.